Hello, my name is John McAvoy and I work for the Federal Records Center program of the National Archives and Records Administration. This module will explain the records transfers capability that you may see in your profile. There are four actions and two views. Let's take a look. When you log into the ARCIS customer portal and if you've been assigned any of the records transfer capabilities within the system, you will see the records transfer tab. When I click on it, you will see the different actions, and there are four, and the two views that might be given to you by your administrator. If you were not given, for example, the reassign capability, it will not be visible to you within this tab. So let's talk a little bit about the different actions within records transfers. The first one is records transfer creation. This is where you can create transfers and edit and track the transfers that you created using your own Arcus user ID. The next one is the edit capability, and this is where you can edit and track transfers for which you are named the agency contact. The third action is approval, and this is in regards to the internal agency approval process that I had mentioned previously, where you can approve transfers created by others. And the last action is the reassignment capability, where if you're given this, you can reassign transfers to a different agency contact or approver. Then there are two views. There are profile specific and also agency wide views. Now, if you recall uh, in your personal profile, when we toured your personal profile, you may be given only a few of the overall access controls that your agency may employ with their holdings at each of the record centers. So if you are only given profile specific view, what that means is in records transfers, you can only view those transfers whose access control properties, record group, record center, security classification, charge account, etc., match up with those in your personal profile. As opposed to that, if you're given agency wide view, that's where you can see all records transfers regardless of their properties. Well, let's dig or drill down into each of these actions and views. When I click create, these are the records transfers that I myself have created. And you will notice that this is split into two different areas. There is my workspace and there is FRC workspace. My workspace sometimes can also be state or displayed as my agency workspace, depending on the component that you've linked to. Now down here, these are different transfers that I have created myself. And in the next module, I'm going to describe to you the difference between my workspace and FRC workspace. Navigating back to records transfers, when I click on the edit capability, these are the transfers that I can edit if I am named the agency contact. For those of you that had filled out an old paper SF-135, you remember boxes two and three up at the top, and one of those top left, and one of those two boxes is the agency contact. So if you're named the agency contact in the Arcus Customer Portal records transfer form, and you are given this capability, you can have some edit capabilities for a particular records transfer, but only when it is in initiated status. The next capability that might be assigned to you is records transfer approve, and this is where you can approve transfers created by others. And when you click on it, any transfers that have been submitted to you for your approval prior to submission to a record center, this is where they will be displayed. And your job as the approver is to drill down on that transfer number and inspect the contents of the form to make sure that it is appropriate prior to submission to a record center. Uh, one of the ensuing modules will go through this process in great detail. Next up is the reassignment capability, and this is where you can reassign transfers to a different agency approver or contact. The way to do that is simply to drill down on the transfer number, and over here on the top right you can see the agency contact last name, where you can drill down in the selection feature and select another person. For example, we'll pick Carol Vadne and click OK and then save the record. 
Moving back to records transfers, again, we have the profile specific and agency wide views. And that concludes the basic capabilities that might be available to you in your personal profile as given to you by your administrator. As always, help is available for the Arcus Customer Portal. You can access a wealth of information at the Arcus website, as well as access to all of the training manuals for all of the available components of Arcus. Link to that via www.archives.gov FRC Arcus. There too, you will find a link for the Arcus Help Desk entitled Get Help, and that will provide you with information about the hours of operation for the Arcus Help Desk in St. Louis, as well as their phone number and an email address. And lastly, you can contact your Arcus administrator.